All right, so listen, we have finally made it to Masters Week. Yes, we have. It's Masters Week, and I got it right this time. This week, in this week's Tour Pro video, we are gonna be focusing in on Akshay Batia. And I think it's probably pretty safe to say that when you are six foot one and you're 130 pounds and you wanna hit the golf ball far, you've gotta use a whole lot of the forces that we use to generate club head speed in the golf swing. We have rotational or torque, we have vertical forces, we also have horizontal force that takes place. Your club head speed is a byproduct on how you use your body as a system. Kinematic sequence, you hear us talk about it so much. But what you wanna remember is, is that inside of that system of movements, you're gonna be producing rotation, width, and leverage. If you understand how to use leverage to your advantage, use the ground and use your lag and your release, and you do it at the right time, then you can have a great deal of speed and a great deal of control. Yes, I know that there's endless videos when it comes to speed in the golf swing. Speed training, speed training, and different ways for you to be able to try to produce speed with different movements. But at the end of the day, if you wanna play good golf, and I mean real good golf, that you have to have a very buttoned up release, you have to be able to transfer speed and control out through the club head where it matters the most down here. So later on in the week, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be heading back out here onto the drive range together, and I'm gonna show you a drill that's gonna help you do just that. It's gonna teach you when and how to throw the club properly, and it's gonna teach you how to do it with stability in the club face at the same time so that you can produce a really tight ball flight when it's all said and done, which is gonna make a lot of us all much happier golfers. Now, let's step inside the lab and I wanna show you exactly how Akshay uses his entire system of movements to be able to produce his club head speed. So hopefully you guys are ready to take that ride. If you are brand new to the channel, then do us a big favor, head down below and subscribe to the channel. Put your predictions in the comments below on who you think is gonna win the Masters this week. I'm not gonna put my predictions in there just yet. I'm gonna wait till either Wednesday night or Thursday morning and I'll put my predictions down there. I have some, I have a dark horse and I have a couple of guys that I think are gonna be contenders, but I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Now, let's head into the lab now and let's take a look at this golf swing because you're gonna see that how he uses width and rotation very early on in the swing and turns it into a great deal of leverage down through the bottom of the swing arc. Let's take a look at that now. All right, so I happen to think that this golf swing is absolutely fascinating because Akshay is 130 pounds, six foot one, and he produces 115, almost 116 miles an hour of club head speed on a regular basis, which is mind boggling to say the least. That should put the light bulb on above your head right now to try to figure out, hey, what do I need to do to be able to produce more speed in my golf swing? Well, speed is a byproduct of the system of movements that you put in place. You need to be able to establish good rotation and good width in the golf swing, but you also need to be able to capitalize on leverage. And the way that we capitalize on leverage is through ground force and through lag and release. Now, if you just rely solely on leverage, then you're going to be in a position where there's gonna be a lot of timing in your golf swing. So what you have to do is you have to be able to balance the equation out. And I want you to look at how Akshay loads into his trail side and watch what he does with his hands and his arms as he turns his body through the takeaway into the backswing. And what you're gonna notice is, is that he keeps his trail arm fairly straight. It's passively straight at this point. There's very little flexion in there and he's staying fairly straight with the arm all the way as he finishes off his body turn. There's a little increase to the angle in which you can see here at the top of the golf swing as he gets to about 95 degrees of shoulder turn. But what you'll notice is, is that as he starts to make his move onto his lead side, okay, as he starts to work through the slow zone and get his weight transferred onto the lead leg, is if you look at that trail arm very closely, you can see that the angle has actually increased a substantial amount. Now, this is the narrowing of the swing arc that takes place. This is the patient part of the golf swing with the hand and arm functions that we bring to the table. And this is setting us up to be able to get the hands and arms moving really fast through what our legs and our hips are doing. Now, understanding that Akshay is just 130 pounds, what you're gonna notice is in his golf swing is that he is going to use a very large amount of hip rotation to get his hands and his arms moving really fast through this section of the golf swing. And if you look at him at impact, you can see that his hips are open somewhere in the ballpark of like 75 to 80, almost 85 degrees, which is a lot compared to what you would see from the tour average, both men and women. Typically speaking, we're gonna see tour players open between 35 and 45 degrees. But what Akshay has to do to be able to offset the lack of speed that he can produce through the body size is he's gotta use a lot more rotation in his equation. This is all tied back to his DNA. You look at a guy like Will Zalatoris, he had to do the same thing. Now, Akshay is a player that can use his hips into this sort of position 
and he does it without creating a lot of lateral side bend at the point of contact. So it's not as unsafe on his body as it would be on many other players like it would be on Will Zalatoris before he started to make his change. But here's the, the big key to this, is that as you get down into the acceleration zone and the hips are really working to open up, we wanna be using the ground to help rotate the hips back. And we wanna make sure that we're using the ground and the stability in the hips from the glutes to be able to apply the brakes to the lower body so that we can throw the club at the appropriate time. When the hands and arms work down in front of our body and we are slowing the body down and we are gonna get the club head going really fast, how and when you throw the club is imperative to your success. If you start throwing it way too early, which a lot of you get yourself into trouble by throwing it from the top of the golf swing down, then you're not gonna stop. And typically what that runs you into is the lower body starts to shut down very quickly and you start putting yourself on the sort of razor thin edge of being out of control. You need to have speed and control. And what, we're, what I'm gonna teach you later on in the week is to be able to deliver the club through the hitting area with a great deal of ground force, a great deal of lag and release, and a great deal of stability in the club face as well, because you need to have control of the club face at the same time that you are producing speed. So that's what we're gonna be doing on Friday in the videos. We're gonna be stepping out onto the range and working together to be able to develop a feel and a movement that's gonna allow you to get everything timed up so that you can put speed in the right spot and that you can also feel the control come out of the club head. Now, big thing for you to remember, if you want to start the tone of your golf swing off on the right tone, then make sure that you are focusing in on weight shift and body turn and doing as little with your hands and your arms as you possibly can. Think about staying wide. Don't allow your trail arm to fold up more than 70 to 80 degrees and don't allow your wrists to go into full range of motion. If you can stay really wide and you can turn fully, then you're setting yourself up for when you make your move in transition to be able to narrow the arc enough to set yourself up to be able to capitalize on leverage. And when you can capitalize on leverage, you're gonna be a lot happier because your golf swing is gonna feel really fast and you're not gonna feel like you're having to work as hard. So I wanna hear what everybody's prediction is for the Masters this upcoming week. I also wanna hear what people have to say about Akshay in the playoff, having his shoulder taped up before he hit the wedge shot across the water. Um, I actually thought that that was one of those things that I probably would have avoided. I would have just gone up there and pulled the trigger and, and uh, you know, chipped it into the middle of the green and tried to two putt and get out of there. But again, I'm not the person playing for millions of dollars out there. So I wanna hear what your thoughts are on the whole situation. I do wanna hear what everybody's predictions are. So congratulations to Akshay on a job well done. I, I find you to be a fascinating golfer and um, I think that your golf swing is fantastic the way that you produce your speed. And I wish you much success at Augusta this upcoming week. Talk with you all soon.